is it time to start stacking copper these here are all copper pennies should we be hoarding them right now i think we should and here is why SD Bullion is giving away a monster box of 2024 Tree of Life silver coins. Sign up today at sdbullion.com slash sweepstakes. Thank you so much for watching. I do sincerely appreciate it. First, I want to talk about why now is a good time to be hoarding copper and then i will talk about some of the types of copper which are good to be hoarding and stacking copper pennies are an example of something that is good to be stacking one thing you want to avoid is something like copper rounds and we will talk about why a little bit later if we look at copper prices going back all the way to 1960 we can see the price is now higher than it has ever been recently going over five dollars a pound a little over a week ago copper peaked at five dollars and twenty cents but it has been unable to hold that high one of the things we have to ask ourselves is why is copper going up to begin with and where is it going from here copper has gone mad liquidated shorts from a flood of speculators an ai bubble a supply crisis and a renewable energy craze have all combined with high global inflation to recently send it to historic all-time time highs while i believe there will be major corrections as some of these factors come back down to earth the most important one out of control inflation will ultimately send copper even higher in the long term you can't undo the effects of trillions worth of covid money printing in just a few years or by briefly hiking interest rates to four or five percent taming that beast would require interest rates to be much higher than the fed would ever raise them as it knows that loan dependent industries like real estate can't survive with rates upwards of eight nine or even ten percent the problem is worsened by sustained out of control budget deficits that are causing a confidence collapse in u.s treasury bonds in the full faith and credit of the u.s government and finally at the end of this shift gold article they write copper supply woes will also continue throughout this year and if you zoom out even more interest rate cuts will all but guarantee higher prices even as shorter term speculation fueled spikes and drawdowns cause the market to overheat mainstream media is even talking about copper now we have an article which came out just today why there's a massive copper shortage the red metal considered a barometer for economic health but mining companies are having a hard time keeping up existing mines and projects under construction will meet only 80 percent of copper needs by 2030 according to the international energy agency according to coinflation.com which does factor in the most up-to-date copper prices we can see the melt value for a copper penny is currently over three cents so does it make sense <laughs> you see what i did there to be hoarding copper pennies right now i I think absolutely yes i mean there is a market for these copper pennies some people will pull them out of circulation and trade them for their copper value not their face value so if you can get these from your bank for literally one cent each and then trade them for three cents as barter you're doing pretty well now the thing with copper pennies is well not all pennies are made out of copper you want to get the ones from 1981 and earlier if they're minted earlier than 1982 they're going to be 95 percent copper and five percent zinc these are the ones you want if you do happen to find some pennies from 1982 there's a chance they may be made out of copper because some of the pennies that year were copper some of them were zinc the best way to tell the difference is actually to weigh them if they weigh 3.11 grams they are copper pennies if they weigh 2.5 grams they are zinc pennies the zinc pennies are really not worth anything they're 97.5 percent zinc they have a thin coating of copper on the top just 2.5 percent that's going to be all your modern pennies from 1983 until now so again the pennies you want to pull out of circulation 
are 1981 and earlier. You don't need to weigh them. You don't need to do anything. As long as the date is before 1982, you know it is 95% copper and worth about three cents. My favorite types of copper are the types you can get at a very low cost. That's why copper pennies are so high on the list. Another type of copper I like is copper wire. If you're throwing away electronics or if you're working at a job site and there's copper wire that needs to be recycled, you can strip the plastic off the end and keep the copper yourself. Now, of course, there are some copper products that have extremely high premiums. One of them is copper bars. Whether they are poured copper bars or cast copper bars, typically these are going to range from a dollar to even two dollars over spot. Now, with the current copper price of $4.72 a pound, that comes out to about 30 cents per ounce. So unless you're getting your copper bars for around that, you're probably paying way too much. The worst offenders are these copper rounds. They come in all sorts of different designs. Some of them are very cool. Some of them are very fun. But for the most part, these are all going to be a ripoff because they're going to charge anywhere from one, two, three, or even more dollars per ounce but again each one only melts for about 30 cents i do not recommend stacking these for any reason the only time i would recommend buying these is if you want to give them away as gifts maybe to your kids or friends or something like that i mean i guess they are kind of fun and some of the unique designs are interesting like here's one with a dragon on it but I would never buy this for the copper value. I'm just buying it to enjoy. So again, copper rounds and bars, not good for stacking. Copper pennies, copper wire, good for stacking. That's what you want. My favorite thing about stacking or hoarding copper pennies is that literally anyone can do it, even kids. If you don't have enough money to stack silver or gold, you can certainly start with copper you can go down to your local bank ask them for a few rolls of pennies and you can go through them and pull out all of the copper ones and take the zinc pennies back and you can repeat this as many times as you want this is actually called gresham's law the law states that bad money drives out good money so the modern zinc pennies are the bad money because they're not made with the metal that's very valuable and the copper pennies are the good money the zinc pennies are driving out of circulation the good copper pennies because people are stacking them and hoarding them for their value now it is currently illegal to melt these down and sell the raw copper but it is not illegal to trade them or barter with them for their copper value for the three cents each so you just have to find someone who's willing to accept them for the three cents each and you can barter with these i mean if the price of copper does skyrocket from here these could be worth considerably more so i'm pulling out all of my copper pennies what are you doing let me know down below in the comment section thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in my next one silver dragons out